So that brings in the power now hitting middle infielder the Paul DeYoung. Down. He went Paul deep earlier and he's two for Young. four to this point. Before the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. They slap the tag on him and he is out at second base. enough to get the win and this man led the charge he's our top player of the game yeah he certainly was a big part of this victory picked up four RBIs in the game so it's safe to say that he came through where they needed him to a one run finish an eight to seven game tonight Felipe Vasquez gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our tonight. entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching Ingram MLB Don The Show. Lopez. For more, make your no way error. over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, three hours and 57 minutes. And we're going to have a pinch hitter to start things out here in the top half of the inning. Leading off for the hey, Cardinals, the right fielder, Kermit Yellowhorn. Strike one to start the at-bat. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. The 0-1 on its way. Uh, had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Hey, see it, drive it like you can. Let's go. The next 0 2. And it's fouled away. Hey, let him fly up there, Hulk. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front... Three. to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Ivan Nova wins his team leading 10th game of the year. Alex Reyes was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight for the victorious Pirates. Ten runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left three men on base. So a move for a pinch hitter as he'll come on to hit with runners at first and second and still only one out. The right fielder, number five, Kermit. Yellow hole. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. He's got that batting average even at a point where even a 1 for 5 will gain him some points. No home runs as of yet and 5 driven in. Yeah. 
And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Come on, big guy. See it up. Drive it right back up the box. Let's go. Come on, baby. Get your the pitch. 0-2 delivery. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. If you've got a good fastball going and they're not handling, keep throwing it. Right there, three fastballs in a row. He gone. Play ball. Yeah. Your attention, please. Here's hitting for the pilot. Number 12, Julian Cortez. Now pitching for the Pirates. Three. Number 45. My goal. Three. Well, that wasn't exactly a nail biter, but it's always nice when you can get an offensive explosion like that and save your closer for another day. A comfortable victory. 13 to 3 is the final score. The Buckos scored a lucky 13 in this one. John Martin gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Luke Weaver couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game. Three hours... A slumping hitter gets some coaching up. Even the best hitters in the world must always be attending to their fundamentals. Slumps happen. Poise in the face of them is a must. <laughs> 